Good day guys and welcome to another Blender Buzz tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make a very simple eye rig. It's very simple but it's still very effective. It enables you to um, move your eyes around and then also individually move eyes, okay? So I can do a lot with this rig, okay? I can, I can kind of put my eyes close together like this, then I can move the eye around or I can put my, my pupils further apart and then I can um, move it around like this. So it gives me a lot of control and this is all parented to a headphone. So um, in this video that you're about to see when I recorded it, there is a little bit of scratchy noise in the beginning of the video, but that will only last like two minutes and then the video won't have that. So I do apologize for that in advance. Let's get started. Okay, so you can see here I have a scene with two eyes in it. And all I did when I got started is I modeled one eye and I created an empty and I just, um, and mirrored the other eye and then I applied my mirror and then I just separated the two objects so this was its own object and this one okay and then this I just made sure that each one of them had its origin points in the center okay? and the origin point is that little orange dot there so to make sure that your origin point is in the middle of your eye just select your eye and go control alt shift C and go origin to geometry okay and the reason it's important when we go on later to create our armature, okay, our rig, um, we want to make sure that our eye bones can be set to the exact center of our eye geometry, and, and we're going to do that by sending our cursor to the um, the origin point of our geometry. So I'll, you'll understand as we go on to the next part. So I'm just going to go Shift S, cursor to center, and the first thing I'm going to add is I'm going to go Add Armature Single Bone, and here you can see it's created the bone. So I'm going to go into Edit Mode. And I'm just going to select the top point, and depending on the size of your eyes, of course, you would size this differently. And you might have a character with a small head and big eyes. So you're going to just kind of have to look at your character and then determine how big the head bone is going to be. Now, this is the head bone, okay? Now, I'm not going to go into a whole rig, okay? The, this tutorial would be for people who've created a rig, and then they've got their head bone. And I'm going to show you how you create the eye system, system and then you parent it to the head bone, okay? So I've got my head bone here and I'm going to open up my properties panel by pressing N and I'm just going to go to my item. I'm going to name this bone head, okay, because it's the head bone. And now what I can do is I can go back into my object mode. I'm going to select the right eye first, uh, the left eye I should say, and then I'm going to go um, shift S cursor to select it, okay, and it's a, now I'm going to put the cursor exactly in the center of our where our pivot point is. That's why earlier we made sure we had the pivot point. And now in edit mode, if I grab my bone again and I go to edit mode, I can go making sure my cursor is there, go um, shift A and there it's added a bone, okay? So I can grab the tip of my bone and just kind of pull it up a little bit like that, okay, to increase the size. And I want my bone to be rotated like this, but the best way to do that with your cursor still in that location is to go to your um, <clears throat> pivot point settings here and enable 3D cursor, okay? And then I'm going to go R90, okay? Actually, that's the wrong direction. Just undo that. Go R minus 90, okay? And when you do that, make sure you're on your right orthographic view and that should all work properly. So you can see my bone is now rotated. And to make mirroring it over to the other side easier, I'm just going to go also and name this. I'm just going to call it I, um, I underscore DEF, okay, for deformation, because it's a deformation bone, it's not a controller. And I'm going to go dot capital L, okay, like so. And with that bone selected, I'm going to hold in shift, select my head, go my head bone and go control P, and I'm going to go keep offset, okay. So now this bone has a relationship with its parent bone. Okay, now to mirror, before I mirror this over to the other side, I'm also gonna go and make a controller. So I'm gonna select this bone, the eye bone, and go Shift D, G, Y. And I'm gonna move it along the Y axis, like so. I'm gonna move it to about this point. And I'm gonna go and enable my median point again, because we don't need to have it on the other pivot. And what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to rename this one, okay? So you can see it is now named it I underscore def dot L dot zero zero one. So I'm going to get rid of the all the last bit, okay? 
where it says I underscore, and then I'm going to go con, okay? Con dot capital L, okay? So this is my left my left eye controller, okay? This one is going to be pointing at this one, okay? What I'm also going to do is I'm going to grab this head bone, go to my right orthographic view, go shift duplicate, then I'm going to just take this bone and kind of bring it down like this and just kind of put this here like that, okay? And I'm gonna call this bone here, okay? Um, main eye control, okay? Main icon, like so. Then I'm gonna grab this guy, holding in shift, I'm gonna select the head bone and go control P, keep offset, okay? So this is now parented to the head bone. And then I'm gonna take this guy here, okay? This one and holding in shift, select this one last. Okay, the main icon, and then I go Control P, keep offset. Okay, so this one is now parented to this one, and this one is parented to the main head. Okay, that is all good. Now I can mirror these two over to the other side. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, select both of these bones. I'm going to go Shift S, cursor to center. Okay, our cursor needs to be in the center, and then I'm going to enable my 3D cursor mode again. And then I'm going to go down to where it says armature, and I'm going to go um, symmetrize. Okay, and it's now mirrored that over exactly. But before I deselect it, I'm also going to go armature, and I'm going to go flip names, and then I'm going to go one more time armature, flip names. Okay, so when I go now, and I go to my um, bone settings here, okay, click on this little guy here, and you go down to display and you enable names, you can see that this is automatically named it. I underscore con dot R, okay, and it's done all that work for you. And that's why naming is important. And now we can go on to the next stage. So the next step is to set up some constraints here, okay? So I'm gonna go and go to pose mode. Then I'm gonna grab my left eye control, um, deform bone, okay? I'm gonna go to my constraints and I'm gonna add a damp track. Then I'm gonna go where it says target, I'm gonna go select armature, and the bone I'm gonna collect, um, uh, get, is the icon dot um, L, okay? So if I grab this bone now and I move it, you can see this one tracks to that bone, okay? And I'm gonna do the same thing with this one. I'm gonna click on the right eye deformation bone, and I'm gonna add a damped track, and I'm gonna also select the armature, and the bone I'm gonna select is the icon.r, okay? So if I grab this bone now, you can see it works. Okay, now the reason we parented both of these to this center bone is instead of having to grab both of these every time and move them, all we have to do is we can grab this middle bone, move it around, okay? Or, and once we've done that, we can grab one of these little guys and move them separately and it gives us a bit more control, okay? Now, if you've moved anything and you want to set it back into its place, just press A to select everything and go Alt G and Alt R, okay? And that should fix it. Now, all we have to do is parent our eyes to these bones. So still being in um, pose mode, all I'm going to do is I'm going to right click on um, my left eye and then holding in shift, right click on the eye deformation bone, this one here, and then I'm going to go Control P, and then I'm gonna go parent to bone, okay? This option here. And I'm gonna do the same thing for this one. Okay, select it, holding in shift, select this bone, control P, and then bone. Cool, so if I go now and grab this bone in my pose mode, I'm just gonna set this back to median point. I can now move it and you can see my eyes are working beautifully. And the head is the main parent. So if I had a character and I could move my head but I could also move my eyes, and I could move one of these eyes individually, okay? So I can do all sorts of things with my character. And this is a really cool rig, because it enables you to do so much. You can really do a lot of cool things. And one thing I will quickly show you to, how to do is to make a custom bone shape for the eyes, which is really neat. You don't have to do this, but it's really fun to do. So I'm gonna go cursor to center, okay? And I'm just gonna go add mesh circle, I'm just gonna rotate it 90 degrees on the X. And I'm gonna kind of just move it over this left eye. Kind of move it forward to here. And then I'm just gonna to go to my modifiers panel and add a mirror. 
And then I'm going to just grab my eyedropper and select the rig, okay? So it'll use that as a pivot point. And then I'm going to enable clipping. And then I go to my front view, I go into edit mode, and I just grab some of these um, vertices on the side, and you go extrude X and move them together. And then I'll also go and just grab um, this loop here and go ES, extrude it in, like so. Okay, now we have a custom bone shape. And all I have to do now is go um, name this quickly. I'll just call it um, I shape. Then I'll select my rig, go into my pose mode, select my main eye control, go to this little bone setting, and I'll go down to where this says display, and I'll make the custom shape eye shape, okay? And, okay, I should have applied to this. So quickly select the one you made, go to your modifiers panel and just hit apply. And then with this one still selected, just go control, alt, shift C and origin to geometry, okay? Now your origin point is at the proper location. Now I can just grab this one and go M and move it to the second layer, okay? Now, this thing is way too big. If I select this bone now with its custom shape, you can see it's way too big. So what I can do is in my bone settings, I just go down and I can just bring down the scale, okay? So going to my front orthographic view, I can just play around with the scale till the scale is right, okay? And I can also go into my edit mode and just move this bone up a little bit, then go into my pose mode again, okay? Bring the size down and just play around with it. Whatever you do, don't scale this in pose mode, okay? Because then it's actually like you're, you're doing an animation, okay? It's, it can be undone. So make sure you only do that in edit mode, okay? You can you can play around with the scale in pose mode, but when you actually move the bone, you, 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 gotta, you have to do it in the edit mode. And there we have it. So I can now literally, and I, you can also go and enable wireframe under the display, and it just makes it um, not as bulky. So I can literally now grab this and play around with it. Then I can grab one of these single eye controllers and move them around. Just like that. Okay, I hope you guys liked this tutorial. If you liked it, subscribe and hit the like button below and check out some of my other content um, so I get views and it kind of helps my channel out. So I do appreciate that. And I will see you guys next time for another tutorial.